Okay, Charlie, did you get all this stuff down real good? Turn it around so we can look at it. Give it a little twist. There you go, there you go. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look what we did here, bud. You went ahead and taped that off. Yep. So you taped it off on the inside so overspray won't get in it. Then you scuffed it down thoroughly. What, how many, two or three times or what? Four times, actually. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. What Charlie did is he went ahead and taped off the area that's not going to be painted. Then what he did, he came back and he scuffed it down again with the gray scotch bright. That's very important. Don't use anything else. The next step, if Charlie can hand me that, this is the key element for your paint to stick to your bumper, your raw plastic bumper, is right there. Okay, rubbing alcohol. That's right. It's hard to believe, but it's true facts. Rubbing alcohol. Uh, what it does, it extracts all the uh, foreign material out of the plastic. You can go ahead and do that, Charlie. Make sure you saturate that rag good and wipe it down thoroughly. Uh, it uh, extracts all the contaminant materials out of it. It cleans it off thoroughly and it gives the plastic, okay, uh, a very, very high quality surface for paint to stick. But we're not even done there. We're not done there. Okay, we're not done there. Let me go get the next stage after the rubbing alcohol. Okay, what we got here, okay, we got us a brand new bottle of Adhesion Promoter. Now what Adhesion Promoter does, it makes the paint stick, makes paint flexible, and it's ready to paint in five minutes. Okay, but we're not done there. Because once I spray that on, I'm going to go ahead and put two coats on it, okay? I'm going to put two coats of adhesion promoter. This is very important. When you're working with a bumper cover that is plastic, that is raw plastic, brand new bumper covers, it's very important. Use your adhesion promoter. It's very, very important, okay? I put two coats on of it, and uh, then we're ready for paint. Okay, wait 10 minutes or so, and it's ready. This is very important, and it also makes your bumper flex. Okay, this is a flex additive for painting. So instead of adding flex additive to the paint, go ahead and put this on and you're pretty much done. Okay, now once we have applied our, uh, our uh, adhesion promoter, once that has been applied, we then move to our epoxy primer. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put one coat of epoxy primer on it. Now, epoxy primer is very important uh, to find out what type of epoxy primer you're using and what hardener you're using for it. Okay, the reason I say that is because most epoxy primers, okay, you have to, once you mix the hardener in it, you have to let it sit for 30 minutes for it to activate. So make sure that you do that. That's very important. Okay. And then once we're done with that, of course, then we will go ahead and we will go ahead and spray the base coat paint on, okay, uh, which this is uh, the factory OEM color, okay, and then we will add our clear coat and then it will be done. But the main steps, the three main characters in doing a raw plastic bumper cover right is your gray scotch bright, okay, always remember that, do not sand with sandpaper, and then the next step, there you go Charlie, how's that cigar smoking for you? Good bud. Okay, then your next step, of course, is the rubbing alcohol. Saturate it thoroughly, do it right, and then once that's done and dry, we're going to go ahead and add the adhesion promoter. Once you've gone through all those steps, then you can go ahead, put your epoxy primer on there, then go ahead and uh, put your paint, and then your clear coat, and you're done. Uh, one more thing about the, pox, uh, the adhesion promoter, I want to let you know, once you apply that, do not wipe it off, okay? That's going to have a tacky substance to it even when it's dry. You don't want to wipe on that, okay? So make sure the environment that you're painting in is clean and free of dust. Wet your floor down if you have to, but make sure that you do not wipe, that, wipe on that once that's uh, applied.
Thank you, Charlie. You can go put those away. Here's your. Thank you. So that's one more tech tip, one more idea for you to know. Uh, bumpers are a big issue these days. Uh, front and rear bumper covers are a very, very big issue. And what I'm saying is an issue is that's your most common uh, collision that you're going to have is your rear bumper or your front bumper cover. You're going to either bounce into something, somebody's going to bounce into you. Okay, bumper covers aren't that big of a deal. Bumper covers are an easy situation to fix. Okay, uh, this is a do-it-yourself at home type situation. You can actually do this in your garage. Okay, purchase a brand new bumper, paint the brand new bumper, and install the brand new bumper. It takes minimal hand tools and it'll save you tons and tons of money from the big boys sticking it in your ass and treating you like a fucking... I don't even want to go no farther. We already know the answer to that. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. We'll get a good look at this bumper when it's all done. I got to put the adhesion promoter on it. I got to put the sealer on it. Then I got to go ahead and paint it. Take it easy. We'll see you later. Charlie, what are you doing? All right, put that on the paint table, but I need it right now. See you later. Take it easy. No, you don't mix it with nothing. Ready, spray, action. Put it in the can and go, bud. Okay, there you go. And that's what I'm talking about. If you do it right, if you take your time, you use the right proper materials and the right proper procedures, you come out with a brand new bumper cover. Uh, one, two, three, easy, simple situation. You like the way it came out, Charlie? Yep. Let's go look at the car that's going on. So you can go from this. You see what I'm looking at, Charlie? Huh? Yep. Look at here, bud. Okay. Little accident like that. Back her on in, Charlie. To that, with just a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of hard work, a little bit of elbow grease and a positive attitude that says I can do it. Alright, come on, come on. There you go, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's good. Alright, let's get this bumper on and get her done. All right, Charlie, pop it open. Let's see what we got. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.